Da, 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 da. The iPod. First generation. What is this? A Dinkbots video? Uh, no, no, I, I can, I can, I can fix this. Perfect. This is clearly not a Dinkbots video. I, I may be heavily inspired by one, but it's not a Dinkbots video. My first Apple device was an iPod Touch fifth generation, but seeing where the iPods came from is just amazing. So I decided to collect them all and plus dink pods isn't really making um, any ipod videos anymore he, he might not be making them anytime soon so um, um, let me let me just get my opinions on the original ipod in 2023 in fact The original iPod was released over 20 years ago in 2001, and it still works too well today. Assuming you have a good battery, it is it mo probably the battery's gonna die. But I mean, assuming you got a good battery, the iPod is still usable today. Uh, this this thing is amazing. Here's a quick um. Oh, 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 oh. look look at that size. Look at that size. Here's my phone right here. Mm, technology has come so far, hasn't it? But this thing was really good back then, and this thing, believe it or not, only has five gigabytes of storage. That, oh, oh, tr try, try, try downloading a movie on this, I mean, it's not gonna work, and it can't even display a movie. All this thing can do is an MP3 player, it can only watch m or play music. So, I mean, this thing, obviously, I mean, it's working now. Is it practical in today, in 2023? Not at all. No, this thing is... Really bad in 2023. The only reason you get this, I heard this on another video, is um someone compared this iPod buying one of these as a uh, a record player. You're not gonna use it to your day to day, but it's it's like it's nice seeing how people listen to music back then. It is very it has this feeling it's so nostalgic, not nostalgic, but it feels it feel it's just so exhilarating if you ask me. This this thing um back in 2001. Only ports on this thing were Firewire, headphone jack, and there's this button that just basically turns the iPod off so you don't... So it can't do anything, so you don't um, play songs in your pocket. But um, that that's all it had, and that's all it needs today. In fact, the, this thing won up the modern iPhones with a headphone jack. Uh, they, don't, they don't do that anymore today, but I'm going to be honest. Who uses headphone jacks today? And be honest. I, I don't. I, I, I use I use Bluetooth. I, I've, I've heard uh, Dinkpods using a bunch of trash about uh, Bluetooth, but personally, I, I really like Bluetooth, um, but we're, we're getting off the topic. The iPod, the original iPod still works today. Now you may be wondering, how would you connect um, music to this since like, it's so old? What What is this? N no one uses Firewire. Well, it's quite simple. You see, if you want to use an, a true original iPod today, you're going to have to spend a lot of money. <laughs> that, that, that's that's the fact. Let, let me show you what this jumbo mess does. We got USB-C to Thunderbolt. We got Thunderbolt to Firewire 800. We got a Firewire 800 to Firewire 400. Other way around. And then we finally got our Firewire cable. Once this is all done. In total, the, you're going to be paying a lot in cables. This the cables I bought cost me about $100. And speak of speaking of price, this iPod today cost about um, three hundred dollars. Not brand new, but but in used condition, used working condition. That is, the, the prices have gone up a lot since uh, Dankpot has been in, in the channel. I mean, this does work. I can prove it to you. I won't do so now. I will show you guys in a future video if you want. But um, this does work today. I got my own music on this. Um. I, I just download whatever I want online and I just get them onto my music or onto my iPod and I can just play them however I want. Another thing about this iPod in the modern day is this uses a classic hard drive. Here, let, let me let me prove it to you. So so when, whenever you whenever you boot up a song, you're gonna hear the hard drive spinning. It sounds like an old computer. <laughs> this thing is crazy. I mean, modern devices don't use um, physical hard drives anymore. Since um, do you, do, see why this is big. This is so big since it has a physical hard drive in it. But with modern devices, back to this iPhone, 
you, you try fitting try fitting a hard drive in here. In fact, let me show you. This is five gigabytes in hard drive back in 2001. If we can uh, pull this out and look at it today, don't hit it. This thing is fragile. But this thing was revolutionary back then. I mean, as you see, it doesn't take up too much space in the total iPod. But you have to put the other stuff like screen, battery, etc. in. But try fitting one of these in the phone today. It's as thick as the phone, I kid you not. So um, that's why we don't use hard drives anymore. They're A, um, they don't hold as, they, they, I mean, they hold plenty of storage, but they're big and they're bulky. So that's why we don't use iPod or hard drives anymore. Another reason um, this thing had quote unquote so much storage is because it had a hard drive, unlike modern or other MP3 players. Other MP3 players would use flash storage, I mean, but let's get back to talking about today. This thing does still work 100%. I mean, it's a music player, so yes, it can play music. Um, it has a backlight, so if you're um, driving home or something, or riding a car, a dark car, um, you can get the backlight up and uh, you can put, let's see, listen to your music. Um, this thing has a bunch of stuff. You can put your whole calendar on it. I have my whole calendar on this. Um, you can see um, what I, uh, like... You can import your modern calendar in and uh, use this as a device today. It is struggling, but it works. Probably the best feature, in my opinion, on this iPod is that it has its own game. I guess we could say this is game changing. <laughs> this, this sucks. I don't like this game. I wish you could put more games on. But that is it. I mean,. It, it does work today. It, if you do have one of these AirPods, you can connect them to your iPod with a um, $35 adapter. I mean, it's a bit pricey, but if you're going to get into the iPod market, it is going to cost you a lot. But it does work 100%. Just plug this into here, plug this into here, and it works. And personally, I find this is um, a fun way to listen to music. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd show you, but my music's copyrighted. And also, it... it this, this thing has automatic ear detection, so like, it, you can only hear it if it's on your head. It's so annoying, but um, that's how I listen to music today. You can also connect this to the speakers. You can also do whatever you want. And yeah, it does work 100% today. Here's the thing, though. This iPod back in 2001 cost $400, not in accounting for inflation. Um, so that tells you how much in technology goes um, in 20 years. Uh, to put that into perspective... $400, I mean, you've been seeing this entire video. This is $400 in today's currency. So look at the difference. It is insane. It's This is so much sleeker. This has Bluetooth. Um, I mean, it doesn't have a headphone jack. It has Bluetooth. It has 32 gigabytes of storage. It has an OLED display, unlike this guy. I mean, it's not using OLED at all. Um, I don't, don't look at my password. Uh, it has an OLED display, uh, and this thing even has more games on it. This thing is 100% more usable than an iPod. It just goes on your wrist, and um, just like that, you you got a, a $400 device on your wrist every day. This thing is so bulky. So in today's standards, this thing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice comparison if you want to see how far we went in 20 years. These things cost the same amount in the span of 20 years, and boy, has has technology gone far. Another thing about this iPod is we can kind of see the evolution of how Apple got to where it is today. Um, okay, we'll, we'll, if you saw this in the corner the entire time, here's the second generation. Um, it is a little bit thicker, but it does have five times more storage in it, so that's pretty cool. The back scratch is like crazy. This is the second, there's the first generation, here's the second generation, and here's the final iPod Classic, the iPod Classic line. Um, you can see just, just the size difference, it is insane. And this thing holds 120 gigabytes of storage, which is, makes this thing look awful, especially with the size and the bad screen. Th this thing is just so crazy. Um, but if you think that is crazy, <laughs> Wait till we get to the iPod Touch, which is even crazier. Ooh, look at this thing. This thing has 256 gigabytes of storage. It is fractionally thinner than this, and it is really thin to this. And this thing is just, it has touchscreen as well. Don't like my password. Guys, it's, it's a secret. 
you, you can play your music on this. You can uh, download movies. You can uh, you can stream music. You can watch YouTube. This thing has um, social media on it. This thing, these don't even connect to the internet. Just look how far Apple has gone in tw 20 years. That is, for me personally, I think that is insane. Um, and imagine what will happen in another 20 years. This thing's going to look like trash in 20 years. This thing's going to be a relic. And this thing's just going to... Uh, I don't want to talk about that one. Get that out of here. Oh, let's get it back in the corner. Okay, yeah. But the iPod has gone so far. It is sad to see it discontinued. Um, the iPod Touch is what got me started on the Apple. So, as I said, this is kind of why I'm, uh, I got inspired by Dank Pods. And I started collecting my own iPods. And I want to show them to you guys. And, and kind of explain how, how the iPods got started. This is just fascinating history if you uh, really want to get into it. I would recommend um, if you wanted to collect your own. This thing is a fun one, but if you wanted to start collecting your own, um, maybe maybe uh, start, start with something that's more affordable and has more storage and get started. If you like this one, go for this one. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be the first video on this channel in months. And uh, if you're new here, I mean, just subscri subscribe. And uh, you know what? Sub subscribe subscribe now now you now you have to do it because I wrote it on my iPad subscribe so um thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here subscribe and um I'm gonna be posting a few more videos on this channel so I hope you guys enjoy bye bye.